Welcome to another installment of Outside the Ring. I am Jason Murphy, Troy Austin beside me, along with Wes Burden. This is uh, our second official podcast here on YouTube. And, of course, we now have, guys, a Facebook and a Twitter page. So big ups to everybody that helped us out with that. Um, I know the you mean Twitter. Everybody, it was you. <laughs> it was me. You I, made both a lot of work into that one. Big I, ups to yourself. Big ups to myself, but big ups to Troy Austin <laughs> for actually figuring out how to put us on YouTube. So if you didn't see the first episode, find it. Go watch our old episode from last week. He, no, it wasn't the greatest. It was it was pretty damn good yeah, for first time. Out. It better have been. It took me about three hours to edit the dang exactly. thing. Exactly. Uh, if you want to follow us on Twitter, we are at. I'm sure we're going to say this like 50 million times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've, we've got Twitter and Facebook to plug now. It's going to be every other sentence. Yes. At, now, on Twitter, we're uh, at Outside the Ring with the number one. And then on Facebook, if you just type in, and you can try it, if you just type in um, like the search, no. um, Outside the Ring. It should it should pop right up. So if you, you have on, trouble following us, you know on YouTube, right? I mean, if you type outside the ring, outside the, the ring one on YouTube. Okay, um, Troy is the handy guy on yep. the on the YouTube front. So uh, we also have an email account now. Yeah, it's uh, our email is outside the ring three sixteen at gmail dot com. So there you feel go. free to send any any uh, questions comments. Yeah, uh, hate mail, whatever to yeah. us there. Any, any ideas. questions, ideas? That, yeah, because yeah. you know we're we're new to this. Anybody out there that would have any ideas as to what we could do to better ourselves? You know, we, we're open to, to any kind of criticism. We're big boys. We can we can handle it. <laughs> it would be, it would be yeah. very much appreciated. That too. Yeah, since this is like our second podcast, but we are, you know we're getting we already have a couple followers on uh, you know on uh, on Twitter. Um, I know that for a fact. We don't have a lot, but we have a couple. We and have then, a follower on Facebook. <laughs> we have one follower on and Facebook. And it's none of us. It's none of the three of us. We're not liking our own page just to make yes. it seem better. Right. And so it's the only first day. But that's enough of the enough of the plugs and the shameless Mick Foley uh, cheap pops <laughs> for all the <laughs> let's go right into headlines because guys, we got a lot of stuff to cover in a short amount of time. Headlines today. Let's just get it started this off. One. This is probably the most yeah. worthless one. No, this is the biggest one. <laughs> All right. This, and, and, and if you don't know what sarcasm is, you will. This Here's is why it goes first. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So the first one is Heath Slater suspended. The guy that looks like Wendy from, uh, you know, there's another shameless uh, plug. Uh, they suspended Heath Slater for 30 days for guess what? Wellness policy. Well, yeah. Go figure. How all these <laughs> short guys that don't look jacked up yeah, are all getting suspended. Well, like probably, there's a lot of different things that go into the wellness policy. Right? Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, it's everything from steroids to marijuana. HDH. That's true. HDH. Yeah. Uh, so basically, he's out for 30 days. No one's really gonna miss the one man rock band. I'm not going to. What was um, he? What was he even doing? How can you was miss? On, how can you miss what's not on TV? Yeah. Is he on NXT? Yeah. I think he was right. on Superstars. So, okay, Superstars. I don't know because he I don't was in the Battle Royal on SmackDown. That's the last time I saw him. <laughs> Who was wasn't on. in that Battle Royal? Who wasn't in the Battle Royal? Forty Doink was 41. in the Battle Royal. You know? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he's. Um, if Doink was there, he probably would have won. So I don't think we really need to comment anything else on that. No. He will be sorely missed. <laughs> uh, official statement from WWE. In accordance with its talent... Ta- if I can speak, here's the, the uh, statement from WWE. In accordance to its talent wellness program, WWE has suspended Heath Miller, a.k.a. Heath Slater, for 30 days effective immediately for his first violation of the company's policy. Heath so. Miller, no relation to Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Steeler <laughs> tight end Heath Miller. <laughs> Um, well, I'm waiting for someone's name to pop up where it's like nothing near their like ring name, like uh, <laughs> I don't know Chris Masters. What like if his name? Yeah, Chris is, like, Masters, Jack... aka Bob Spandex. <laughs> yeah, 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 something yeah. random. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyways, next thing up: WWE planning a Legends reality series for the new uh, oh, the new this network. Is nothing. This is um, a recipe for disaster. Of course, their new network is WWE Network. Nope. And Launching sometime next year. Here's the options. Now, they took a poll on WWE.com as I'm, I'm reading this. I'm figuring this out. Basically, what they did is they took a poll on their website 
to, to poll us, the, the fans, what... The WWE uh, Universe. Yeah, the universe. Uh, what reality series they would like. Here's the, some of the choices. WWE Hot House of Fame, WWE Old Timers Archives, <laughs> or a no, a Old Timer Acres. Acres. WWE I like Old Time Acres. I like that I was one. Say, yeah, <laughs> um, a nice ring to it. WWE Retired and Rowdy Roommates. That one's stupid. WWE Old School Yard. Oh boy, we get the we get the Old Timers swinging on swings and going down slides. <laughs> WWE Legends House. I think they all suck. <laughs> old, 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 I, no, old timer acres. I, I, do, I, I would love to see that. Um, Harry, you give me a couple minutes. I could probably find the results of that poll so on WWE. Go ahead. While you're doing that, I'll, 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 let me look at this here. It says WWE Legends All Force. Now, basically, what we're doing here, it's like a uh, reality TV show. It's I mean, like it's like the real world. Yeah. Basically, they're For gonna, old guys. It's a bunch of old legends that yeah. are going to be forced to live under one roof and see what happens. So I'm thinking, Legends, you've got probably Who Ted got? DiBiase. Doink the Clown, Hacksaw. Roddy the only Piper. thing that could save that show is if the Iron Sheep was on it. I'll tell you, you what, follow, that, you and if they could get, that and if they <laughs> can wow. get Hogan and the Warrior back in WWE and have... I want to. He's, lo he's I locked want, into TNA. I don't want the jobbers in the house <laughs> no. like Repo Man. I, don't know. I want Coco Hogan. Beware. I want Sheik. I want the Honky Tonk Man. I want the Warrior. I want guys with legitimate beef with one another. All in the same. I mean, house. they're gonna find a way to make it dramatic. It's just like oh, any yeah. other reality show. They're, yeah. they're gonna find angles. Because like, if you watch there. something like the Jersey Shore, and you have, no. if you think that 100 of that is real, no. you're an idiot. Can you? Well, that's why it's called reality TV. Hogan. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Honky and Hogan have this beef, obviously, on the internet right now, and so does Warrior and Hogan. Can you imagine, like, Honky? Hey, Hogan, Honka Honka, get me some toaster in the oven. You know what I mean? The, what? Get, get your, get your, get your ass the over to the, the toaster. The only reason why it, you know it would be saying? called like, like if they took House of Fame. I mean, some of those guys that get in there probably that's the closest they'll ever get to fame again. So. Shake, <laughs> shake, rattle, and roll, and give me some. I can almost, I can, I can, I can almost guarantee that Bret Hart will be in there probably. Oh yeah. Oh, he has he, to be. We, well, well, Shawn Michaels could uh, he be an option? That would Shawn be Michaels good. Could be in there. And, there you go. They go and, hunting. And speaking, go hunting of, together. Speaking of Shawn Michaels, I don't know if you, any of you guys saw it, but last Friday on or last Tuesday, Tuesday whatever on yeah. SmackDown, DX re, uh, had Returned. a reunion yes. after after SmackDown. It was never it after made, or before? No, it was, it was after. after. Okay. It never made the air, right. but they came out basically to plug. Uh, Shawn Michaels hunting show and WrestleMania that, and WrestleMania possibly yeah. being in Dallas. Can you imagine Ooh, in Cowboy that, wow. Stadium? I think that seats close to a hundred thousand, over a hundred thousand yeah. for the Super Bowl because they have the standing room only too. I mean, if you have you guys seen that? <laughs> wow, yes. yeah. that's it, a it, huge yeah. room. It's yeah. huge. They could get it, it would be easily in that thing. One of the biggest manias probably ever. Ever, because you got to imagine uh, on the field you yeah. have chairs. Look, yeah, picture all the seats you all get right, around. I, 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 I can't find the results oh, for that uh, poll on there. I voted, and it just says for? thanks for your vote. All time you I voted for. Oh, come on. <laughs> all right, now this next headline, we got to. I don't know if you guys want to hold off because we are going to do the Bound for well, Glory yeah, results. I mean, yeah, yeah. we can yeah, just yeah, touch let's on, hang off on that then, one yeah. for right now. Yeah. I'm going no, to. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm, let, yeah, let's just jump straight to the last one. Kevin Nash. Okay, so Kevin Nash. Nash was on this interview, uh, the Chad Dukes wrestling show, to talk about returning his health status. Do our show. Had the way he walks that would really be nice. Yeah. Okay. The way he rocks really slow. <laughs> his match with CM Punk down the road. Basically, Nash says uh, CM Punk on the back of his T-shirt says "Best in the World," and I said to myself, "This is a quote." <clears throat> I said to a bunch of other people, you know, his shirt says best in the world. He's going to have to prove it if he's going to drag my 52-year-old carcass through a 14-minute match. Wow. That's very true. I'm glad, I'm glad he's I, telling the truth. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, Nash knows that he's not as a spring chicken he's not anymore. Lemur, as he he's not. Be, yeah, yeah, no. He's He knows that if he's in any kind of a match, he's going to have to have help. Yeah. Big I time. Mean, somebody's going to carry him for that. Yeah, exactly. That's a lot of, for a guy. Oh, that reminds me. There's another statue. headline when we're done with this one. Uh-oh. Uh, no, it's, it's I don't know if we really oh, need to touch anything else on yeah, that. I mean, I mean, he just goes well, on to say yeah, yeah. he thinks a lot of people would like to still see the, the match uh, and doing uh, kind of doing the baby face thing with Hunter right now. Uh, but he wouldn't be well, he wouldn't be with Hunter though. No, but right? CM Punk's doing yeah. the baby face yeah. thing with Hunter, and um, who knows? I, I mean, be... it could, it, Kevin Nash, I believe, will be back yeah. 
it could be a few weeks. It could be by Survivor Yeah, I was going to say, it's got to be I, by the end I of this I really one, think right? that it's Nash that's behind all of this mm-hmm. with, with, with Miz and Truth and all and that. And Johnny Ace, possibly. It could be interesting to see. I just want to see what he's got. Yeah, because I, I think it's 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 Nash that Ace is always texting yeah. when whenever yeah, it seems like all of his, his promos end with him pulling out his phone and starting to text. It's mm. it, I, I'm almost willing to put money that it's I agree. Nash. He says we're going to see I the agree. match though. So I there mean, you go. So you got one more headline. We're not going to touch yeah, on as soon as it loads. Stuff right well, now, I'll cause... give you the headline, then I'll give you the details okay. when it loads. Um, uh, the first inductee to the WWE Hall of Fame was announced, yeah. and it's Mil Mascaris. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, as soon as this loads here. Of course, it's uh, WrestleMania choice. in Miami. I would yeah. think The Rock possibly could be going in this year. Uh, uh, it would only make sense, even though he's in the main yeah. event. Yeah. they got to put him in this yeah. year. It, 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 yeah. it makes sense. I mean, yeah. there's a it, lot it, of guys they can put sense. in. Uh, I think Macho is definitely going in now. Yeah, My too. one thing with him, I think Macho should be the main event guy going in. I yeah. don't know if you're going to have Rock and Savage both I in know, this that, year. That would be, okay, it'd be huge. Come, yeah, go ahead. Here's, here's the, 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 well, it's a shortened story for Mil Mascaris. It says, uh, in Mexico City, Triple H announced that Mil Mascaris will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2012 in Miami in April. Uh, the announcement was made in Mil Mascaris' uh, native country mm-hmm. in front of the WWE Universe in Mexico City on Sunday night. Mil Mascaris was the first masked luchador to compete in Madison Square Gardens, the Mexican Squared Circle legend has also competed also competed in the 97 Royal Rumble. I remember that actually, yeah. believe yeah. it or not. Yeah. He he was a hell of a worker. Mm-hmm. If you a lot of kids were like, who is that guy? He was one Mommy, of the best. Mommy, is that Rey Mysterio? Yeah, that's no. not. That was no. Rey Mysterio it's his dad, it's his before. Dad, right? No. Oh, okay. It was Rey Mysterio it's before Rey Mysterio I, 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 was. Around. I don't know. That's what the kids would think. Yeah. He, he was awesome. Go yeah. just type in his name on YouTube. You could actually watch some of his matches. Uh, I don't remember who. That's a good trivia question for you. Who did? Who threw him out in the '97 Royal yeah. Rumble? Maybe Sid Vicious or somebody. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But that's really basically your headlines. There's not a lot. Um, could have been Stone Cold, yeah. No. Uh, so let's just let's TNA bound for glory. Let's do that yeah, after we'll Raw. Rematch. No. Okay. Well, well, you let's do it that. after Raw yeah. because I got. We all have a. There's something that it, happened oh on Impact. God. We're going to talk yep. about it. Let's we'll do have that a little bit. Later. We'll, we'll have a little yeah. bit of a spoiler alert later on. So uh, uh, yeah, we'll 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 uh, let the sirens loose for you. So uh, <laughs> no, if, I gotta if, be honest. If, if you don't want to know what happens on Impact, then uh, you skip ahead in the video or yeah. just. Now Raw was taped. That. Raw mm-hmm. was taped this week. It's in, like Troy pointed out, Mexico City. The spoilers I, were already out. I, the spoilers were already out. I did not read them going into the show. Neither did I. I, I try to avoid spoilers as much as I can. I did as well. Now, Except here, when it comes to TNA, because <laughs> I don't really watch TNA. Yeah, so here here's the deal. Um, I didn't watch a lot of Raw. I skimmed through it. I T-voted it. Um, I was busy playing Batman. <laughs> oh, oh, that game is so good. I, I'm not going to... Yeah, we're so good. Um, so, uh, Wes, you probably saw the most of Raw... Uh, yeah, in its entirety. I all of it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, how did we start the show off this week? Yeah, go to, uh, go to our status guy, our stat guy here. Stat this, man. This week we uh, we opened up with John Laronitis in the video package. You know, uh, <gasps> recapping Laronitis. last week's epic fail. And I'm raw. still smoking those cigarettes. <laughs> Executive vice president. He, for some reason, he brought Jr. back out again. I mean, he fired him one week, and now he's, yeah, yeah. He's so a, if you missed Raw last yeah. week, we went on this big tirade last week about how Jim Ross was fired, and oh, we got all mad. And then they bring him back. Now we don't yeah. know if this was a one-time thing. If he's he yeah, didn't, didn't do commentary yeah, last. They didn't touch night. on that. No, so. He did they not brought, do they brought, commentary. They brought him in for a match. The, the main event. It was Jr. and Cena <laughs> versus Del Rio and Cole. Yeah, that was to set up what the uh, the stipulation, right, for Vengeance. No, yeah, it was to set up the yeah. stipulation, and we'll talk more about that once we get to the main event. Um, I don't know how I feel about Jim Ross in a match. Obviously, it's it sucks when he's in a wrestling match. He can't do much. It's funny. Um, he gets excited though. I mean, oh, he gets, oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's 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 funny just to see he's not Jim Ross do an ankle lock. Oh no, God, no, sir. not athletic. <laughs> no. No. here's the thing. I he's don't know. The most, he's probably the roundest man I've ever seen. I'm in my still going to be upset. I, I, I'm I'm a big guy too, so I'm not knocking on anybody I'm like that. I'm still going to be upset if next week he's not even doing commentary. If yeah, we're back it, to Jim it, Ross, it, uh, not on Raw. It, 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 I, he said he brought him back, but I don't know. They didn't really touch if he's coming back. To announce. Mm-hmm. Like last night he didn't announce. Okay, he was in the main event. Will he be next week? It would only make sense since he just 
We'll talk about the main event later. Yeah. But okay. all right, so what happened after that? So uh, the, Jim Ross, he, you know, he comes out. Yeah, they come out. You know, they do their thing, and uh, main Larry event's mad. Yeah. yeah. And then, so then Randy Orton comes out after. For, for, uh, JR's still standing in the ring, and Randy Orton <laughs> comes out to. I hear voices yeah, in my head. Which set up the uh, the six man tag match that opened the show. It was Orton, yep. John Morrison, John and Morrison, Sheamus versus Cody Rhodes, Christian, and Mark Henry. Okay, now I did not see and this match. The, the ending of this match. It was all right. It no. Well, it, it, match it was, was it, the, I mean, the, the match, match was all right. Was, there yeah. were two the, runouts. Yeah, the match was all right, and the ending could have went somewhere else, which could have benefited. Yeah, but they were they were just trying to protect you know all those other the yeah. four guys that yeah. ran out. So but, what, how did it, the match in? I, the, I have okay. Well, first, well, first did, did it you, started. Yeah, I saw yeah, it. Okay. Uh, first it started. Uh, the, it was just a normal tag match, yeah. you know, going back and forth, pretty good action, and then Cody and Randy broke off. Mm-hmm. They started brawling. They brawled. They oh, ran back. And, and We've never seen that before. Randy yeah. ran Cody off to the back. He followed him. Okay. All that. And then, so now it's a tag match. Now it's a tag mm-hmm. match. Two they go for a little bit, and uh, then uh, Sheamus runs Christian off yeah. through the crowd. Uh-oh, I'm feeling a so job. A, Morrison yeah. coming. So they, so they, leave John, they, they leave John and Mark Henry in the <laughs> ring. And honestly, Henry looked pretty strong. I mean, Morrison <laughs> got a couple moves Morrison in. Morrison got a couple and good then, moves in, and he actually was taking it to Henry pretty good. Wow. And then Henry... Uh, Morrison hits the ropes. Uh, he's going to hit uh, uh, something on. I don't know what it was. He tossed. He yeah. Jumped. He he he. What was it? I think Morrison. Oh yeah, jumped, Morrison. And then, yeah, Morrison was going to leap over yeah. Henry. Henry he, catches him. Gorilla presses him. Throws him up. Wow. Catches him into the world's strongest wow. slam and pins That's him. It, yeah. Pretty cool. They could have really good, they good finish. Yeah. Sounds like I mean, a good I finish. Mean, at least. If they didn't, if they weren't completely burying John Morrison, they could have used that to really get him over to get a clean win over. Mark Henry, no, that's, or that's, that, that's or maybe even happen. maybe no. just kick out of one world strongest slam. I that would even get him over because nobody's be, e- Orton didn't even kick out no, of the world strongest. I was no, no, I don't, he needed two he? at Hell in a Cell. Oh, did yeah. he? Okay, Big the Show, first time he did. Big Show didn't even come out. I was expecting, you know, maybe yeah. uh, just a sight of Big Show standing on the ramp. Or yeah. you would think the end, or, they're building to that match in yeah. a, this Sunday yeah. at Vengeance. That match is gonna suck. It will. So, hey, 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 the Kool-Aid man wins uh, for his wanted, team. After yeah. that match, I mean, they went to break. <laughs> and I wanted to touch on this as I was watching it because, I mean, it kind of caught my eye. Uh, Brodus Clay, they showed another video package of the big guy. I mean, he's, he's, a got, big he's, dude. Got, he's got some potential. He's, I mean, he's a, he's just like a Mark Henry kind of model. Ever since his days on NXT, back when NXT actually mattered. Yeah. Uh, he was a good enforcer. He, he looked... Credible, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. when they he brought looks, him in, when look. they brought him in as Del Rio's bodyguard, he still looked credible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they really didn't do anything no. with him, and it ruined no. it. Yeah. They didn't do anything. And they with they him. just dropped him down back to FCW, right? Yeah. So there he's, been, got, he's, he's been on nice he's been on superstars, and he's no. been squashing local jobbers, and no, that yeah. really doesn't you know build anything. No, mm. not at all. So, all right, so there we go. Uh, we'll what skip on down to the uh, the next match. We can just, uh, just pass on over this. It was Eve taking on Natalia to set up her... Uh, God. You know, how many times... How, how many, many times is Natalia how, how going to ma- get beat? Too? How many matches uh, she's between the this, How many matches between the same four women can you have? I know. Well, I was just thinking the up, same I mean, thing. They're probably just drawing. I'm not saying the, the Bella Twins are any good, <laughs> but why don't you just throw them out there? So, yeah. th- somebody different. Hey, speaking yeah. of the Bella Twins, they had a segment with John Laurinaitis where they tried to uh, seduce him. Tried to seduce him. They let him know that he that <gasps> they were still on the show. Well, they were, yeah, because having, they, they don't have guest hosts, so they don't have anything to do. I wouldn't mind having talent relations with you too. Did you guys notice? Like, you know, I, 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 it, I've come to the conclusion that John Laurinaitis sounds exactly like King of the like Hank Hill from no, King of the Hill. God. Hey, Bobby, uh, Bobby, I'm John Laurinaitis. <laughs> Hank Hill, that smokes uh. too much. <laughs> you see? Did you? I don't know if you didn't see it. I mean, underneath all the wrestlers' names when they come when they come out now, they They're have their, their, they put their Twitter. Twitter I handles. did see well, that. It wasn't underneath all of them because some of them don't have. Twitter. Well, so obviously the ones that do. I mean, they put it even uh, under John Natalia. Cena, John I mean, Cena, Randy Orton, Natty, yeah. Christian, Eve. They Eve. put under Eve. Orton, I did see that. Christian. Yeah, all those guys, they got it. So, um, okay, so whatever. Natalia yeah. jobs again. It's mm-hmm. stupid. It is stupid. Um, it's that poor girl. Whatever. I, 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 are I, they setting up for her to eventually go against <laughs> Beth? I, you think? I really Maybe, cannot I wait for Karma to come back. No, oh, me too. Well, how long, when oh. did she make that announcement? Uh, it being, was only about. It was right around WrestleMania. She was wasn't pregnant, it? so I mean, you figure. Well, she was. Well, she I mean, just yeah. found out though. She wasn't. 
I'd say it was after WrestleMania. it'll be about yeah. WrestleMania probably when she comes yeah, back. It's yeah. going to be a while. Yeah. Because, yeah. um, I mean, she's not just going to, you know, pop the kid out and come straight back. No. Back. God, no. you got to have time to recover and all that. Yeah, that's not so. that's not she healthy. Was, she was already a big lady, too. So, yeah. after that, Eve wins over is that a uh, fat Natalia. Joke? No, I'm just saying. Say, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big guy. I'll beat your ass. <laughs> next. <laughs> big. Okay. Uh, the next match, it was at uh, top of the hour. Second hour is uh, CM Punk taking on. The Miz. Okay, I saw some of this match. Um, it was pretty good. Triple yeah. H came out to even the sides up because our truth was out there telling people that they sucked. Uh, oh, they're Triple did, H did they for some reason. That? Well, they're, Triple I mean, H, I don't know. They were saying it in English. Two El Sucko. Yeah. <laughs> two, Triple H for some reason comes out in his suit and he starts taking his tie off and stuff. I'm like, wait a minute, Triple H. Why didn't uh, he just you're not COO and, anymore, yeah. man. Yeah, Wear really. your leather jacket. Well, see, the thing is. No, he is he COO. He still is COO. He is he just COO. Has no, he, no he power. Does, he's not taking care of the day-to-day operations yeah. on Raw. Oh, that's right. See, a lot of people probably don't know that. Yeah. That's where they logic comes from. Yeah, he he, he, no he is COO, there. but he has no say in what yeah. goes on on Raw. That's, so, all, yeah. that's all Mr. Laurinaitis. We have another just... run-off, uh, fingers, uh, two fingers up, run-off, um, where Triple H is chasing our truth and all of a sudden the executive vice we can't get enough of this guy he's all over the show he is and he that, com- that's why people hate him he's he's yeah. taking up he's taking up screen Airtime. time yeah. for everybody else yeah i wanted to point this out too uh during the match cole was talking about Larry Nash right before he came out and he this is what he said. He said, quote, the ratings went through the roof last week with Laronitis being announced yeah, as the new Yeah, I heard that, too. I th- I, I, really? I, wow. I, thought I, heard, I thought I was hearing things. No, you didn't really? hear that <laughs> incorrectly. He actually said that. That when really numbers. That, I, I had to do a double take. Wow. The, 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 the ratings were probably good at the beginning the of the show. Hour, the second hour, they said they lost 700,000 viewers. Because they got rid of JR, then the whole show tanked. Yeah, but let's, show who cares there. about last yeah. week? God, we don't need a hit on that. CM Punk was pretty over, too. He was very they, over. They were, he in was Mexico. getting some loud CM Punk chants. Uh, the the match itself was pretty good. Um, I don't know. It wasn't the best CM Punk Miz match they probably could have had, but there was a lot of interaction with H and Truth. So, anyways, Triple H is running our Truth off through the, the up the up the ramp, and then all of a sudden, John Laurinaitis comes out and basically drops this bombshell. He drops a mm-hmm. bomb. Who? He that, dro- he drops a pipe bomb. That Triple H was getting deported. <laughs> Hunter Hearst Helmsley got deported that's on still, Monday Night Raw. That's still funny as hell Is it because me. he's British? I don't know. No I'm, no, I'm just referring to, oh, to, oh, to oh, the beginning of his character so, like, oh, in the 90s. Oh, uh, the, the Connecticut <laughs> blue blood. Yeah. So, so Trips, he gets kicked out. He don't look happy. On the way out, funniest part of Raw, our truth is kind of doing this dance, <laughs> doing basically. Little, okay, you I'm going to show that how much of a nerd I am here. Okay. But for anybody that watches Dragon Ball Z, uh-huh. he was trying to wow. t- he was trying to do like the fu- yeah I'm a nerd. There Shut you up. Go. Okay, he was, <laughs> he was trying to do like the fusion dance with himself. He was there's basically like, doing the Hogan there, Scott there, Hall there, thing there, where he does yeah, a pointing yeah. thing. There's going to be like 12 people that'll get that reference I just Tri- made. Triple yeah. H was he was even escorted by the Mexican jobbers. <laughs> he was. It was pretty. So Triple pretty H pretty just exciting. decks our truth, which is hilarious. And then he goes up the ramp. Mm-hmm. Um, punk and then, the one with the roll up, by the way. Yeah, and then basically, which is um, weird for a Punk match. That, 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 that really kind of took me by surprise. Uh, punk one with the roll up. He got his butt kicked after the show mm-hmm. or after the match. After the match, he got jumped. So there you go. They're building up for That's that tag match to, adventure. Yeah, to build up for yeah. him. Yeah, give him some. Uh, that was fine. I mean, you don't know. I, like again, I don't know where they're going to go with Triple H. If he's going to, if I don't see him turning heel now, um, we talked about that before the show. I think they ruined that. Yeah. Um, they ruined this whole angle in a lot of ways. But we'll see. Let's see. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'm not going to give up on it yet because Rock's coming back next month. Thank God. Yeah, but what is he really going to do? I don't know. But for it, all we know, ratings he, are going to go up for, for that. Ratings yeah, they will they go will. up if he if he's on Raw. Yeah, I think he will be. Because I mean, you know, a couple at least promo promote him the right way. Yeah, well, I mean, he's only going to be on the the show, right? The, the last show before Survivor. Series. We'll see. That could be right he now. Is, is that I what think they that's said? just what they scheduled him for. That's right what now. I was thinking. He's that. taping GI yeah. Joe as yeah. we speak. Yeah, so, yeah the I mean, new GI Joe movie. Pretty, he's pretty busy. Um, yeah. He's not making WWE movies. He's actually making Hollywood movies. Yeah. So I'm just pointing mm-hmm. that out there right now. Um, God, it just reminds me of that crap. That although I will out. give I will give John Cena credit. The guy didn't even take off to make that movie. Mm-mm. That guy is a workhorse. You know, I mean, say what you, you want I, about you know, Cena. That's the thing. I I I 
as a person, I like John Cena. I, I, let me get that clear to people yeah. listening. Oh, yeah. As a person, I like him. All the stuff he's done for charity and all that. I cannot stand his character. Uh, oh, I think that's but, most you know, of the people, As yeah. a person, he is, wor- is going to work he is, himself into an early grade. And I know but. Miz and Punk have both come out and said that he is the most hardest worker that they've ever seen. Ever. I mean, on Twitter, I mean, even before Raw, he you can see he has a stack of like thousands of pictures that he just signs every night before amazing. every Raw, every house show. I, mean, you, you, when I, I was shocked when that movie trailer came out. I mean, the movies suck. Yeah. But to just see that this guy made that movie not Without too long ago, time off. did never miss yeah, a Raw, he, he a house he, show. He didn't miss a step. Unbelievable. That is, that's unbelievable. I mean, the but movie anyways, might not be any good, but at least he's, he's no, trying. It won't be. Next. <laughs> okay, the, uh, the, the next the next Dang, match next, was my yeah. favorite of the night. It was Jack Swagger taking well, on. Of course, it was your favorite of the night guy, because you like Zach Ryder. Oh, radio! No, no, you know even <laughs> if this would have been an actual the one minute special, if this would have been an actual match, an actual back and forth match. I might have liked it. Mm-hmm. I don't that... like it how, you know, <clears throat> let's remember that Jack Swagger is a former world heavyweight champion. Mm-hmm. And Zack Ryder comes out and beats him in less than a minute with two moves. A, a double, a knee, a, a double, double knee, knee to the face and then the Rough Rider. I think Zack Ryder can work. I don't mm-hmm. think he's a bad worker at oh, all. No, I've can, seen he, his he, matches. He's he can, not bad. He, he can work. Um, it's just... The way he goes over a world, <clears throat> it was like the Brooklyn Brawler. Mm-hmm. It was like one of those old 1992 episodes of Superstars, and Zack Ryder beats the Brooklyn Brawler in two minutes. That's just, how they used yeah, to do it. It was just yeah. weird. Undertaker would fight, you know, this yeah. guy you never heard of, and that they remember back in the day they would just drop these guys against Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Yeah, and it was on Sunday afternoon, and it'd be over in five minutes. But mm-hmm. that's how you build up your guys. Yeah. Um, you would never see Undertaker and Shawn Michaels fight each other before the big match. So I think um, it, it's just weird how the match has suddenly ended. I don't think anybody in the so, crowd even expected no, that. No, nope, nobody. But if you noticed, nobody cheered. Nobody cared. Mexico does not care about Zack Ryder. Not really. He's a Long um, Island guy. He's, not <laughs> he's, an, Amer- he's an American-made fad. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I will say that. I yeah. am not a fan of Ryder. Mm-hmm. He is better than some. Oh, yeah. But not by much. Now, I mean, two he, minutes, he, he's got he, charisma. He's decent in the ring. His character is atrocious. Good. <laughs> no, Great. You guys are going to fight all night. The YouTube show is amazing. I don't care what you say. I give budget. him credit, Look though. At the budget. He... We have a better budget than his show. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, two minutes. <laughs> about that custom-made belt. I mean, so that match was like two minutes long. You mean the, not you even. mean the belt that he made out of plastic? The internet belt? That's an actual belt. No, it is not. Yeah, it is. Bull. I don't watch believe the, that for a the episode. second. It is a real heavyweight title. Anyways, Swagger know. loses. We're, he we jobs moving. next. Okay, uh, after that, that was when they <clears throat> Swagger and uh, Ziggler tried jumping on uh, Ryder, and then Mason Ryan came running out and cut Batista a, cut 2.0. a he, short he promo. Came, he, he did his best to run out. Hey, Ziggler. <laughs> come back in the are ring. Me slow. Hey, did you guys, his voice is strange. Well, he's from he's Wales. Like, he yeah, should I mean, never be near no. a microphone again. <laughs> I think he's one of those guys like you build like Goldberg. Mm-hmm. Don't let him talk. Don't let him talk. No. Don't let no, him talk. Don't. Just let him go out like Ezekiel. Mm-hmm. I think you know, Ezekiel. They, they say actions are louder than words. Let know. that be true with Mason Ryan. No. Ezekiel shouldn't talk. No. I think he should no. just beat guys within two minutes and walk out. That's what made Goldberg good. Yeah. He, Especially when the in the matches with Goldberg where he would he would get in, you know, bell would ring, he would run, hit the spear, pick him up, jackhammer, done in less than a minute. If you got a guy that doesn't have a lot of moves or ring ability, you make them a monster. Mm-hmm. It's why that isn't simple. John Cena a monster then? I don't I don't know. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, anyways, uh, the guy from Wales comes out. He does his spiel. It doesn't really go anywhere. Next. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> this it, Raw is it, not good I mean, so far. It went nowhere. No. There's no. And then that, even, that, if you don't think Ryder got a reaction for his win, you should have heard the crowd. <laughs> there was crickets. Yeah, yeah. And then that yeah. led to Mason Ryan versus Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, they yeah, did I mean, book that match. I mean, that, yeah. That and who the, won that? Uh, Ziggler won by DQ. Okay, so Ryan was attacking him in the corner, and he just yeah, he, wouldn't, he, he just, was yeah, he just wouldn't let up. He exhausted the five count. And Go figure. Who does not do that anymore? No. Um, and then, all right. uh, actually, this, we haven't seen one of those in a while. No, yeah. we haven't. That so all this led is to the, uh, uh, the, the main event. Wow, this Raw Cole is and Del Rio. 
mm-hmm. versus Ross Jr. Good old Jr. And Before John the Cena. main event, <laughs> Michael Cole gets like up on the announcer table and he's calling Jr. fat and ugly and all this stuff and how Mexican people should cheer him. Because and this harkens, Mexican or this something. harkens back. Isn't his wife Mexican? Uh, yeah, that's what isn't he that said. what he said? Yeah, yeah that's no. what he said. And he, all of a sudden, he's part Mexican. Yeah. Nah, it doesn't I, work that way, Michael. I love his uh, ring attire. I hate it. I love it. It's ugly. It That's is. the whole point. He's, like a, he's he a dumb character. He looks like a pale That's pumpkin what he's in those for. things. <laughs> those tattoos, too, they throw me off. He's They're like everywhere. the guy back in high school that always wanted to be on the wrestling team and never he could. get on it yeah. And he made himself his own uniform and wore it for <laughs> Halloween. Um, okay, so this match sucked. It was funny because JR got some shots in at Cole. It was awesome because JR made Cole tap at the uh, end. With the ankle lock. With the ankle lock. There's not a lot to point out here other than the fact the that crowd. John Cena. It, no. it, yeah. Yeah, this whole match was uh, f- to decide who picked the stipulation for yeah. the match between Cena and Del Rio. Del and Rio was very over, by the way, in this match with yes. the Mexican the people. The crowd was pretty into the this The crowd match. was really behind. But, of course, but it, Cena's, it was Cena's taped, popularity so really runs a lot can't... more like in, like in outside of the U.S. Because yeah, but, he's but, known but, as the guy. And like we I, don't, they don't see him. Cena was yeah, booed, though, during but this But like match. I was saying, you know, there, wasn't, there wasn't a lot of booze. There was you, really of can't, yeah. you really can't judge because it was recorded. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm not Very saying I'm true. not saying that they mm-hmm. pipe in stuff for every recorded show, but it's well known that watch, they do. Watch, you're correct, a hundred thousand percent. Watch SmackDown and watch some of the guys that get this enormous pop. Mm-hmm. Now, remember sound, uh, and then look at the audience when you hear this enormous pop. They're now, not oh, hey, anything. Randy Orton gets a great pop. Every I've seen Randy yeah. Orton live. He gets, awesome he gets a pops. good pop. Okay. Watch the crowd though. Mm-hmm. Some of them aren't even standing up. Well, I had a feeling like they were showing like the crowd, like from when they go to break. Sometimes they ha- they tell you to stand up and you know wave your signs and all. Yeah. The- everybody yeah. was standing up when they were going through that match. So, anyways, Cena and, and Ross, my God, win, my God, win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so they win. Cena knocks the crap out of Del Rio with the steps, and, and then he basically, starts, okay, yeah, and he, yeah, like I said, it was for the, the two who des- decide who mm-hmm. the, who gets the stipulation. Yep. And and Cena starts messing with the steps, and I don't care what anybody says. You know, the wrestlers they grab the steps and they're they're like pulling them like they weigh a ton. <laughs> Those things don't weigh that no, much. They, nah. they, look, they look like they're plastic. They almost. do. But anyways, I like to know how much they weigh. Anyway, yeah. That would be an interesting. There's a question for you. Yeah. <laughs> go find that out. Go, go do some research for. Us. So anyway, but uh, no, it, it, he he he. Uh, Cena hits Del Rio with the steps, mm-hmm. grabs a microphone and starts counting. He says one, <laughs> and I go, "It's a last man standing." Should have counted in Spanish. Yeah, <laughs> Uno, everybody knew, and even dos. Cena said, "You don't have to be like a rocket scientist yeah, to figure to out, figure out this why one. I'm counting." He grabbed the microphone, said one. I was watching it with a buddy. I turned to him and said, "Last man standing." Yeah, mm-hmm. here's the thing. He, he got that to, was he, he got he got to seven. Del Rio got back up, so he. He hits him with the stairs again, and he starts counting again, oh back gosh. over from one. One of the worst Raw endings I've seen in quite a while. This was horrible. This was not a good way to build up to your main event no. with Del Rio and, and you know, Cena. It, 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 I, I can almost guarantee that Del Rio is losing. No. If they do that, that, that would be, what, I can seven almost, title changes in I can, two months? Yes. yes. I can Seriously. almost guarantee Del Rio losing because the only reason they wanted Del Rio champion is because they were going to be in Mexico. So that why didn't they be. just keep the title on him then? Before? Boy, why we'll have a hell of a show next week be, if that's true. <laughs> because they are padding out Cena's title reigns to beat are. Flair. Yeah. Which is garbage. And I guarantee when he does beat Flair, they won't mention him at no. all. Ooh. He'll say the first ever... Uh, you know, 17 times. 17, 16 yeah. time WWE, WWE champion. champion. Well, Whatever. Here's, here's some of the guys he's already. Now I'm talking WWE titles, mm-hmm. not world. Hogan, uh, Savage, Sting, Rock, no. Triple H. He's I believe lot. he has beat Triple H. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bret Hart. Cena? Or I'm talking Cena has beat all these guys. And I'm ta- Bret Hart? Not not beat. I'm talking title reigns. Oh, you went over I'm that. talking okay. in the line. Yeah, I'm he, he talking beat. title reigns. It's just WWE championships, Kane? not world. Kane, he's already passed Kane. Up. Dolph yeah. Ziggler. Uh, yeah. yeah, Ziggler didn't Dude, have it for. But at least list, Kane had it for a day. Uh, look well, at the list. One, he had that one reign back like in the day. Year. I mean, oh, yeah. say what you want about Hogan. Hogan only had it five times. Nah. Rock had it like six or seven. That's it. Hogan Stone had Cold it for like, two. Hogan had it for like four years ago before he dropped it. Undertaker. Uh, no, had, no, it wasn't Hogan. That was. was that, no, it was, was Hogan. He had it for a long time before he dropped it. Savage had it was for it, a year. It, was it? Savage had it for a year. Then yeah. he, was he it dropped pa- it. Was to it Pedro Hogan. Morales that had it for like three years? Yes. 
Bob mm-hmm. Backlund had it for Bob a ba- long yeah. time too. JBL had it for two years. Yeah. Yes. No, he had it for a year. But was, was it a year? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the thing is. I don't mind that. No. Yeah. I don't mind Hogan but, having you know, it for a year because you need to make the champion credible. It, it makes the belt, it makes the belt it. worth something. Exactly. And these these title reigns where it's going, oh, okay, uh, Cena versus Del Rio. Uh, Cena wins, or, or Del Rio wins. He's the champion. Totally agree. Next month, uh, Cena versus Del him. Rio, and you give it yeah. right back to Cena. And then they, they're, well, they're crapping punk, all over every one of their titles. Punk and with not, all yeah. that momentum. And you not only that. It. They keep doing the same matches over and over. They are and crap. Over. They are they are thoroughly taking a steaming <laughs> crap on their world titles. The Intercontinental and the U.S. title have more credibility than the world titles. That's that sad. is not how it should and be. And those belts don't have a lot of credibility no. either. No. Let's yeah, there's there's one out. thing I want to add though. This is kind of off the uh, off the topic, but uh, I was kind of disappointed that nobody went through the. English announce table because they always put people through the Spanish announce table. I was disappointed that it and didn't happen to the Spanish announce table because it's the first time I thought we were for in sure. Mexico, so you got to go. Opposite. I thought for that's, sure. That's like, that's like I was telling you earlier yeah. with uh, Alberto Del Rio uh, and his announcer uh, Ricardo Rodriguez should have should yeah. have announced him in English just to mess with the fans. I thought for sure that Mexican table was gone <laughs> in five. As they soon as they announced they that they were there, the table and then cut to the Mexican guys talking. Okay, so that was raw. No build up for vengeance. Three stars. We, yeah, yeah, if that. Out terrible. of how many? 20? <laughs> yeah, three out of 50. Of, three 10. stars out of 3,000. Okay. Um, Absolutely okay. terrible. We'll, we'll, do the, we'll do a quick rundown of the Vengeance paper. I would do that last. Yeah. Because I mean, we, we, just we, that we'll go ahead and do that yeah. now. You want to do it now? Yeah. Because Bound for Glory goes, was a little, it bit, little bit bigger than the we'll do upcoming it, okay. Okay. Quick. I agree. Just say yeah. who you think's going to win. Give a little you know, rundown. All right. All right, we'll start <laughs> at the, with the non-title matches first. It's, I don't uh, even know what's on the card. Me either. I'll, I'll give you guys the inside okay. scoop. It's uh, <laughs> Sheamus taking on Christian again. Um, back to back paper. Sheamus. Sheamus. Sheamus is going to win because I really think they're building him up to take on Mark Henry. I agree, Sheamus. They're taking away all of Christian's credibility. Then. Christian never had any, in all honesty. I mean, he was the champion. He though. won the title. On a and then and then they had to have Edge come Twice. in and ruin it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The uh, next match would be Cody Rhodes taking on Randy Orton. Not Randy. title match. Randy. Randy. If Randy, Randy, Randy don't go over Randy in that definitely. one, I'll be shocked because Randy. Well, actually, they they, they they might have Cody win because Cody has been looking pretty strong. True. Like, I mean, they, they, could, they, do they could be working this up to. Uh, they this could be them mm-hmm. building Cody up to the main event. That would they, be nice. But they always think that they build up their strong characters and then have the the, the big uh, faces take them down. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Because Orton, Orton's been getting owned by uh, mm-hmm. Cody last yeah. few yeah. weeks. So. Yeah. Same with Christian. Christian's been owning Sheamus in a lot Cut of ways, the too. head off of Viper. Yeah, but. Let, watch the Venom run. Well, you know what they oh, say, strong God. on TV, lose at the pay-per-view. Yeah. So. Well, that's not always the truth. But, I mean, it yeah. happens a lot. Though. Yeah. Okay, right, next. The, uh, the last non-title match is CM Punk and Triple H sticking on The Miz and our truth If Tri- Triple, Triple H and Punk. Yeah, yeah, if they don't win that period. match, I'll be shocked. Be, then they'll really kill all Punk's momentum. I mean, I like Miz and truth yeah. i like their team i like the comedy but mm-hmm. i just don't see them winning that what, no. if, what if kevin nash running possibly no no, no. not yet what not you yet. mean walking no. not running not yet. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> every time t- every t- when he was still when he was back in the company every time he would come out i would kind of every step he took i kind of Ooh, went cringe and when he came running down to the ring that one time i i almost turned my head away because i was afraid it was going to happen again <laughs> Okay. So. Just, there was one time he he, he you know because you know how he gets out of the ring you know yeah. the big right. the top rope then he drops down <laughs> I would thought oh my no oh, don't oh. do that right. no kidding okay the uh, now we're gonna start with the title matches the WWE Divas title match don't care Eve and Beth Phoenix don't, don't we care. gotta pick somebody though who is it Eve versus Beth Phoenix. Oh my god! You know who Beth wins Phoenix. that match? Beth Phoenix. Nobody. The Beth concession Phoenix. stands. It's not. It's the, yeah. The concession stands. <laughs> the toilets because the, because the, uh, the fans definitely don't win. Okay, so yeah, we don't okay. care. Next, Beth Phoenix. Next, it's a uh, WWE t- United States title match between Dolph Ziggler and Zack Ryder. But I mean, they said the tag title match, and then they changed Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, to I don't fight know. Zack Ryder I, on I think Smackdown, that that so. tag title match might be the dark match yeah. for the night. Okay. So it, we'll if it is, then Ziggler there's definitely Ryder. not. Well. They're doing I, Ziggler and Ryder for sure. So, I, mean, I think yeah. Ziggler wins. I don't think Ryder wins yeah, because it's, Ryder's it's, had way too many victories over Ziggler. It's it's too much, too fast for Ryder. Yeah, so. and I'm not saying that because I'm not a fan. No. I mean, it 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 he has it, like three pinfalls. He over hasn't the guy. been on Raw for the last two weeks. Yeah, he comes out, squashes Jack Swagger That's in true. less than a minute. It's too much, too fast for him. Yep. So there you go. I say yeah. they draw this out a little bit more, and. He, uh, as is much it, as, is I, as much ready? as ready, as he much ready as for the I, next level? As much as I don't like to say it, Ryder will win the U.S. title eventually. eventually. Yeah, 
I don't know if it's either, it's going to happen this pay per view either. But no. you think Ziggler's ready for the uh, next level? Mm-hmm. Ziggler, the belt Ziggler is not ready. Yet. No, he's not either. They tried it mm-hmm. before, and it was the like fifteen minute ti- title reign that he yeah, had. Mm-hmm. He's not ready either. He he will get there though. Eventually, yeah. Okay, and then the uh, second to last match would be the clash between the two biggest heavyweights for the world heavyweight title. Mark Henry's going to win Henry this. Mark Henry versus the Big Show. Mark Obviously, Henry. Mark Henry. I don't. It's over. it's one of those. It's going to be horrible. No. Um, they're using the Big Show to try to elevate. Henry I like a Big Show. More. Yeah. I, I like Big Show. I think if Big Show's in the ring with the right people, as big as he is, he can have a decent match. Honestly, but uh. the, the right way to do it would be have Mark Henry win. They're building him as this unstoppable beast. Exactly. You keep can't, building yeah. him. If yep. you're going to build him after 15 years keep of doing, doing nothing, it. Exactly. keep building him right. And make a credible champion. Exactly. Make a credible champion because mm-hmm. your WWE championship is not credible right now. No. So. Hopefully, no. I'm gonna. I'm not saying I'm rooting for Mark Henry, but I kind of am just yeah. to see a credible champion. Yeah. Next, <laughs> and then the uh, the final match is the last man standing match between Alberto Del Rio and John Cena. Um, my wow. I so want Del Rio to win this. Your heart again. says Del Rio. We just said my heart. Says Del Rio. My heart says Del Rio. My heart says Del Rio. Your head but says my, John my head Cena. Says John has John Cena. Cena ever lost an endurance match like this? No, I don't think he has. He never quits. La- last yeah, he never quits. Making bad don't movies. Do <laughs> the last not man standing. He never. I quit up match. I quit matches yeah, with John Cena. I agree. The one with the Miz. Oh was not awesome. my God! No, that was not. Awesome. That was the <laughs> worst ending. To any well, any I How quit fast match did Miz I've quit? ever It was like ten seen. seconds, wasn't he, it? Five. Yeah, yeah. He he, he locked right him away. into it, and he just I he, quit. He, he he quit nah. like a pansy. I so. mean, it was it was ridiculous. <laughs> nah. so, you want to talk about an absolute burial? Cena wow. took a forty-five minute ass whooping. Mm-hmm. You know, and chased Miz up the ramp with a what was it? A belt. Did he take Mrs. Belt or it was yeah, yeah it was like a belt. He just squashed like him. Yeah, yeah he was. chased him into the back for like ten seconds. He comes back out, trips him, puts him in the the STF, STF. that he can never lock in right. <laughs> and Miz says, "I quit" within about three seconds. Yeah, that is not how you do a match, no. WWE. Nope. I um, and I know there's going to be the scene of yeah. fan, the diehard scene of fans out there who says, "Oh, it's a, it was a great match." <laughs> Shut up. Your ma- your opinion doesn't matter. No. I think it's a seven match card with a lot of predictability. So yeah. I don't know um, what the buy rate's yeah. going to be for uh, this one. Like I said, like, in, in that in that don't la- in buy that, this. Yeah, in don't. that in that last match, last go to B Dubs. Yeah, go to B Dubs. Go to B Dubs or find some bad website out there that you no, can find. No, no, don't do that. We don't need people doing that. <laughs> That's that, that that is illegal. Whatever you do, do, we not, do not we do not condone that kind of behavior. Do not drop 50 bucks for this no, one. No. Don't no. save your don't. money for Survivor Series. Yes. Save yeah, save your money for Survivor Series or start saving your money for WrestleMania. Yep. All right. <laughs> like so. you, like and my my thoughts on it like you said, my heart says Del Rio, my head says Cena. Book it. Yep. Book it. I say Bound thumbs for down. Glory. Dun, 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 dun. All right. It was this past Sunday, TNA's biggest show ever that had four people there. Uh, approximately. Right, look, approximately. <laughs> the show, some of the matches, I guess, from what I was told, were okay. <clears throat> Nothing huge. Now, of course. Hogan, the big thing. Are we do we do we want to run down this whole card or what? We don't. Do, have do you even I have mean, the whole card? I don't have the whole card in front of me, but I mean, I probably can go word for word um, on the matches. Hold I mean, on, I can the matches you the, want to touch on. What, hold I mean, on, I can find the. I even, can tell you right now, AJ Styles yeah. beat uh, Christopher Daniels. Yeah. In Crimson a, beat Matt Morgan and Samoa Joe because yep, they got to keep Crimson's undefeated streak yeah. going. Yep, um, their continuation of. The burial of Velvet Samoa Sky Joe. won their woman's Samoa belt. Joe. I'm so the knockout I, style. I I I am really. I, I, hope he goes I, I really WWE. don't see why Joe just hasn't said, screw it, I quit. Is he WWE bound? Uh, I don't know if he is, but I know that CM Punk and Stone Cold Steve Austin are both vouching for him on uh, Twitter. I think he might. I think he might. Um, Jerry w- Lynn fought RVD. If WWE, uh, who cares? <laughs> He's asking <laughs> who for, the, for the matches. That was yeah. a good RVD you know, match RVD, from 1998. RVD. <laughs> RVD has been It was a good match then. Let's while. leave it there. I yeah. Know. Uh, RVD did beat Jerry, Jerry Lynn. Lynn. RVD is nothing what he used to be. Jerry no. Lynn is busted. Yeah, it, it, it was a busted. It was pretty much a busted show. Austin Aries defeated Hogan Brian comes Tinder. out, of course, against Sting. No. Um, this was not the main event, thank God, because we asked last week, would Hogan put himself in the main event? He did not. It was the match down. That he, hey, yeah. baby it steps. Was close. Baby steps. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Hogan comes out and he could hardly walk. Sting comes out. Um, I do remember seeing some of this. Hang what on a happened. second. Before we get into the, into uh, into that main event, I do have the the card here. Just say I, the winners. Yeah, just, I don't even. Well, think I, it. I, I'm not even going to say the winners. I'm just going to. 
Can you know, say, you know, say, Mr. Anderson. Say, say the match and just no. give your general thoughts on it. I, I remember I the way. I didn't see the pay per view, but I remember the winners. Um, the uh, the dark match was Ink Ink versus Mexican America. Yeah, that Don't match. Care. Yeah. Don't care, they no. they introduced uh, uh, Christina Von Erie mm-hmm. on Impact, which her name is Toxine or something like that in the company, which is a stupid ass name. Yeah, but you know, that. I I really couldn't care less about that match. Uh, the TNA X Division match um, was Brian Kendrick. By, Brian, was it Brian Kendrick and yeah. Austin Aries? Yeah. I heard his match did, was pretty did, did good. Did Kendrick win? No. no. Yeah, Austin okay. Aries win. won. Uh, then we got Jerry Lynn and Rob Van Dam. Mm-hmm. We and already talked Rob about Van that. Rob Van Dam won that. Yes, yep. sir. Uh, like I said, Rob Van Dam is, is 98. Prime. Yeah. And Jerry Lynn is busted. <laughs> Jerry Lynn Pretty was damn much. good back in his day, but he, it, it he's old as anymore. hell right now. Samoa Joe, Matt Morgan, Crimson, Crimson won yep. just to keep to pad his undefeated streak. Mm-hmm. Pat the um, stats. Bully Ray versus Mr. Anderson in a botched finish. <laughs> At least what I saw was a botched finish. Mr. Anderson won. Uh, set Bully Ray up on a table outside. Went for the Swanton, the Kenton, Green Bay Plunge, whatever the hell you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Uh, hit it. It didn't go through the table, so he picked him up. And Mike checked him through it. Got the pin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, DNA you, Knockouts did, title match. It was a four way match. It no. was Velvet Sky, Madison Rain. Did you uh, hear about Bully Ray's to, promo before? No. Their match? I really couldn't care less. <laughs> it said it was pretty good. I mean, he's, he probably a, he's could, a Philly guy. And he, yeah, yeah and again, and he probably for, brought up ECW a yeah. hundred thousand times. Let the no, damn thing die. No, he didn't bring it up. He he, he knew they were going to want to cheer for him, so he yeah. pretty much ripped the crowd. Yeah. 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 So keep going. Uh, okay. Uh, what was it? The knockout match was uh, Madison Rain, Velvet Sky, Winter, and who? I know Mickey it was a James. I, was it Mickey James? No. Yeah, Mickey yeah. James was it. Okay, and Velvet Sky won her first knockouts Yay! title. Finally, okay, go nobody, ahead. Cares. nobody cares. No, Daniels and AJ Styles in their I Quit match. AJ won. AJ won. Yep. So there's that. Uh, Sting and Hulk Hogan. Brother, brother, hey brother, watch my legs, oh, brother. God. It was a. S- <sighs> I'm not gonna a- bump. It was actually, it Hogan, was a, I think, took actually one Hogan bump. Hogan took a mm-hmm. few bumps. It, they weren't like suplexes or anything. He must they have were lied. Just, they were just him falling down from getting hit, though. But they still, a guy yeah. with two bad legs and a bad hip and a bad back and a bad yeah. hairline. And I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so Hogan <laughs> basically loses the match. He jobs to Sting. Yeah, they're, they're both bleeding by the end. Hogan yep. starts oh the match. The bell doesn't even ring yet. He's waving to the back to motion for guys to come out. The, and yeah, Rick Flair came Rick out first. Flair comes out. I will never retire. Woo! Well, when you got freaking twenty thousand dollars a month in alimony, to <laughs> seven different people. How could you retire? Okay. Really? So Sting basically puts the. From what I gather, he made Hogan tap in the yeah, in the he, death lock. Yeah, he made yeah. him. He he got him in the death lock. He didn't wrench on it though, because that would have broke Hogan in half. Now I, I didn't see the match. Death lock too. Huh? I, they said it was a bad looking. Well, it was. sure. It, it looked you didn't want to cripple Hogan. Hogan, Hogan what, didn't even get on his stomach if I remember right. He was oh half on his shoulder, up on his side. Which Ugh. yeah, that's that's enough. Hopefully Hogan will never step in the no. ring again. Um, Bischoff's son was the referee in yeah, this Yeah, and match. They, they finally outed him as Bischoff's son. son. They've been trying to keep it a secret, and, you know, everybody knows his name. On, his ring name was Jackson James. Now, he turns face in this match because after the match, he No, he, he doesn't basically... really turn face. It's just, I mean, what else could he have done? He, yeah. Hogan basically... was tapping right in front of him. No, he, he ma- couldn't. You, you mean Hogan or the ref? Well, both in a oh, way, because okay, okay. Bischoff, after the match, comes in the ring. He's it, mad yeah, that Hogan he, he tapped. Kn- he knocks his own son out. <laughs> Knocked his own son out with the his chair. Own flesh and blood. My God. <laughs> and uh, for you know, I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe and then, they'll yeah, use his that, son more on I, TV. I don't know. Who the hell knows? Um, and then Hogan proceeds to turn. Face. He hulked up. He hulked up. Yeah, he hulked up. Red well, not wait. Back. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Um, it was a it, slow uh, Immortal came down yeah. after yes. came to attack too. Sting. Mm-hmm. St- uh, Hogan is sitting in the there. Like at this time, they're both bleeding. Sting is uh, getting beat down. Hogan's in the corner. Sting starts crawling towards him, asking for help. Hogan finally gets it through his receding hairline. <laughs> it, that he, it reminded he, me of like the, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker yeah. at the end of Star Wars. Yeah. Help, Father! Yeah, and well, Hogan yeah. all of a sudden turns good yeah. again. Man. And Hogan gets up, you know, yeah. he hulks up, <laughs> and you know, then the the, the 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 heels do the stupidest thing that a mm-hmm. heel can ever do, and go at this guy one, on one. one at a time. Yeah. They line up in a single file line, and they take numbers they take and shots. <laughs> yeah, that they, never they, seems <laughs> to work out ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever. And, When's the last time they mugged somebody? With Sting winning this match, control of the company is now back in the hands of the incompetent Dixie... I'm sorry, did I say incompetent? I yeah, meant- <laughs> you did, and you're right. I meant incomparable. No, um, I didn't. 
So, yeah, Hogan's back as a face. And then the main event. Now, this is what we really want to get to. Yeah, and afterwards, I've got some breaking news for you Kurt guys. Kurt Angle, for some reason, after all this buildup, beats Robert Bobby Roode. Roode. Wow. Bobby Roode. And in a way, after seeing what happened in the Hogan match and then seeing this outcome, I'd want my biggest show of the year to go off with a good note. You know what it is? Now that I just thought about it? Of course, you know, you. I, I'm guessing you were going to get to that mm-hmm. Hogan lobbied nah. the day of the show that Bobby Roode not win the title. It was either Hogan or and, and, somebody. And it just struck me. You know why he did it? Because that would have overshadowed him turning face. It it, it could have. Absolutely. It would have over because Bobby Roode is extremely over. He is. He is the mm-hmm. future of that company. Now, and Hogan turning face, people loved that. Hogan right. was afraid somebody was going to steal his spotlight. But don't you think he should be over that by now? No. I mean, Hogan will he never be, be over He should be, but it. he won't be. I don't Hogan understand, should, I don't Hogan understand where he's coming be from over with that. It, yeah. But he never will be. No. Um, he's looking out for his best interest. That's the not thing. the 80s anymore, Hogan's the ba- Yeah, it. Hogan's the Babe Ruth of wrestling. He, like, and I've said it a million times. Everybody, you know, yeah, absolutely. Ho- wrestling is now, you could be, not, I totally know nothing about mm-hmm. wrestling. You know who Hulk Hogan is. You know who Hulk Hogan is. Yeah. You might not know who, uh, I think The Rock's in that category now and Stone oh, yeah. Cold. Oh, yeah. um, there's not a lot. Chris like, Jericho like, is not a known name no, everywhere. No. Uh, as like great go, as he is. Undertaker me. to a like, point. You go to, you know, you go out into a mall somewhere. You you take a survey. You say, you, uh, yeah. Name a wrestler. <laughs> name, uh, do you know who John Cena is? Yeah. Do you Probably. watch wrestling? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, John Cena is. Or you now. know, or, or you go up and you do the exact opposite. Do you know who Yoshitatsu is? <laughs> who? Yeah. Right. Um, I agree with Troy on that. Is I he, think Hogan might be working at the Chinese buffet. <laughs> I don't know. I think I ordered from him last week. <laughs> okay. Spoiler alert. Oh God. Spoiler alert. You know Sirens. Mean? So if you if you don't yeah. want to know, Did, don't just yeah. rewind it. Just, don't just rewind yeah. it. Stop, just stop from here. Listening. Catch yeah, us next week. This will be our this will be our last segment. So if you don't want to know what happens on Impact, you know, just stop listening right now. We Basically, pre- they it. they taped Impact last night and a little bit I guess today from what we're gathering. They I guess they and of recorded course we, in we, Orlando. We, we are recording on Tuesday, so yes. Just so you know what our time frame is. So here. you never know when this will be up. You might have already seen it. <laughs> we have this a new is, world champion, and it's not who it's, you think it is. Kurt Angle, no, not. Kurt Angle loses the TNA World Heavyweight Title to Robert Roode, James <sighs> Storm. James Storm, what? the Why? partner, the wow. partner of Bobby Roode, is the world champion. The guy had no build up whatsoever. Bobby Roode was being built up. Through this entire Bound for Glory series, series. yes, which, which they did stretched outstanding. What, four months. I it gave credit to the way TNA built him up no. with the Rocky videos and well, stuff. Well, yeah, okay, I thought Sean, you were yeah. talking about yeah. the Bound for Glory series. I'm talking that was no, stupid. No, but I'm talking about the four weeks building up to Kurt Angle, showing him training yeah, at uh, home. Yeah, it, they made it seem like UFC, like it was totally real. I give TNA that they made that look credible, showing his family and everything. I totally like that, but. To have now, there were reports that Hulk saw more in James Storm on the mic and everything than Bobby Roode. Now we yeah, don't know it, if any it, of this is true. We don't what, know where this came from. Didn't Hogan go on ESPN or something and just completely blast Bobby Roode? It was out, out of character. Or, it, was, or, it was on the radio. He radio said he liked he Bobby Roode. Oh, okay, I read the yeah. whole thing. It, he it, said it, he yeah. liked Bobby Roode, but he would rather have Bobby Roode as a heel and not as a face, and that he wasn't that's ready for me, the big title. That's what makes me think that uh, they're going to break up Beer Money, mm-hmm. possibly bring back Chris Harris. I highly doubt that though, and they're going to turn Roode heel. Mm-hmm. I'm very interested to see where they go with this because James I mean, Storm, as the out world, of nowhere. Champ, if anything, yeah. James Storm should have been the guy turning heel yeah. with uh, Chris Harris. Yeah, not the other way around. No. Bobby Roode, like Troy said earlier, is the most over guy in that company besides AJ Styles right now, in yeah. my opinion. It, it's He's been there a long time too. Um, uh, Bobby Roode has been there pretty much from the beginning. No. Yeah. This was not. I mean, now at the end of the and this uh, of just Impact, came out of left field. Yeah, I, of course. This we, was we right before we taped. Of course, we haven't seen it. Yeah, we found out about yeah. this right before we got in in here, and I mean, this was completely out of left field. We saw it, and all three of our jaws hit the floor. It was so who, unbelievable. Who's, whose ear is uh, Hulk Hogan in now? We don't know if this was Hogan, Casey Carter, Bruce Eric, Pritchard. We really don't know. I think more more will come out this week. I'm no. just wondering I, what brought this match about. 
Well, I mean, of course, we haven't seen it, it yet. Yeah. yeah, how is it set up? Mm-hmm. Is it, you know, Storm is trying to get, you know, revenge mm-hmm. or whatever for... Uh, we you know, do know that after Storm wins, I do know that all of uh, Fortune comes in, yeah, including, now, including Robert including Rude. Rude. Okay, uh, they come in and celebrate with James Storm. So I don't know. Hogan was on record that he wanted Jeff Hardy to be the the champion again. He, yeah, he was. Hulk, on, he was I on love rec- you, but what are you thinking with that on, one, he was, brother? He was on record as saying that Jeff Hardy was. Mm-hmm. It was the next the big next thing. Like John yeah. Cena. The, the, he, he, like, he was the next John Cena. No, he already had, he already Say what had you want chance. about Cena. Yeah. Hardy and, had his uh, chance, yeah. and his chance was in WWE when he, he was extremely over. He was. He was. He, was. he, was. he blew it yeah, he big time. Yes, he did. And this whole thing with the drugs, did you guys hear about that? Yes. All this, all this cr- crap that's going down, he got 10 days in jail. Wow. Yeah. It. That's it. That's it. We yeah. get 10 years. All oh right. yeah, you yeah. Know. If you, if any of us did it, we might spend life in prison. <laughs> so there's your Bound for Glory, TNA, everything. We're gonna have don't, a lot. Don't watch the recaps. Just read the results online. Yeah, it don't wasn't a order good the recap of the pay per view. No. Watch it was, Impact. It was though. very predictable. For no, once, we are telling you to watch yeah, Impact. Watch, if you, I'm watching. I'm gonna this be week. watching. If you don't believe us, there, James yeah. Storm. I don't wins. even. I don't even watch every week. And now this yeah. has got me. At least they yeah, got if, people if, interested. If, yeah, yeah. At least that that that's almost one thing that they're they're doing. They're trying. Trying to bring people in with yeah. a shock factor. Mm-hmm. They did. They're, they're wondering, is this real? If you did not see the spoilers like we did, mm-hmm. it would be a shock. What did you oh, say yeah. earlier when you were what? talking about Eric Bischoff? What's his uh, book called? Oh, um, Controversy Creates Cash. There you go. It could be Bischoff. And they, be Hogan. And, and, like, Dick, we and, don't like, know. and like I told you earlier, a few months ago, WWE Shop was selling it for like two bucks. <laughs> two dollars. <laughs> the sad part Thank is, you, the sad part is, they still had to give a portion of that to Bischoff. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> here's your here's your buck fifty. <laughs> uh, so. You know, Raw pretty much stunk. Vengeance, yeah, don't buy it. Vengeance, don't buy it. No. All I can say, Glory guys, sucks. this week and is watch. That, <sighs> all I can say is watch TNA this, this watch, Thursday. Here's my, for the whole week this week, and I know we didn't touch on SmackDown. SmackDown spoilers. Who cares? Yeah, it, they had the Sin Cara versus Sin Cara mask mask. Mask versus mask. That could be interesting. Yeah, that could be interesting. In, but, in Mexico. But, but I mean, yeah, Maybe, the, the yeah. thing is, though, you know... Uh, None of us really can watch SmackDown because we, we all we all work on Friday nights. So right, even it's hard I TiVo to. it, but yeah. Nah, nah, but nah. I mean, so when we can, you you might have noticed that we don't cover SmackDown. When we can, like if something big happens, we'll say it. We'll We're on. not going to touch on Superstars no. or NXT because NXT. You can't even watch Superstars now. It's it's not online. It's not on WWE.com anymore. Where is it? You can only watch it overseas. Canada wow. or overseas. Well, you can't watch that. Well, NXT, there you go. UK. NXT has become a friggin' joke. Yeah, it, so. it's it's just ridiculous. And um, <laughs> I was gonna. I guess we could do this before we wrap up the show. We don't have a lot of time, but this. Uh, I'll, I'll just play the clip. I guess. Yeah. This uh, in this week back this in week the day. In wrestling history. This week in wrestling history. Um, <laughs> this one's interesting. I hope we don't get a, 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 a lawsuit from WWE because we're mentioning this guy's name. But I'll roll the clip. There you go. October. Do you 21st. remember that? The October best 21st. of what was the best yep. of seven between yep. Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit. Was that the, was that the finale? Chris Benoit. That match? was the finale. That was, okay. Booker T won the title. Uh, yeah, because Benoit okay. had the title and uh, Booker T went in there, uh, won it off that low blow mm-hmm. and yep. walked out with the United States title. Can you dig it, sucker? No, That's all I, I can't. Say. And uh, that pretty yeah, much that, wraps this show. Much wraps it up. After all that, okay. Quick recap. Vengeance. <laughs> don't buy it. Yep. No. No. Uh. Hopefully, hopefully something happens where that'll it'll pull viewers in though. There's yeah, that, they got to we'll be going somewhere I, I, with that. Yeah, it, I don't know. Um, uh, Bound for Glory wasn't great. No, nope. wasn't great. Wasn't even good at all. Impact. Uh, watch this watch, week. watch at watch. Uh, don't watch. Order the recaps for Bound for Glory. Watch Impact. Uh, you know. Because this whole thing with James Storm is we'll see. just really, let's just see what happens. And on that downgrade, I think just hit <laughs> yeah, the music. Yeah, we're done. we'll hit the music and and uh, you know and and Raw. 
It, we'll see what happens with Raw. We'll, of course, we'll, Raw's going to be good this week, Raw should I think. Be, yeah, because it's a Raw after yeah. pay-per-view. And they're building two something. Survivor Series. Yeah. The Rock's coming back. Yeah, the building. And, yeah. of course, we, we will be back next week with our review of uh, Impact and the Vengeance Raw. Pay-per-view. Vengeance pay-per-view. Vengeance pay-per-view. Raw. And Raw. So and there's gonna, there's a lot going on next not week. Be fun. <laughs> there's a, no, it won't be. <laughs> Remember, we are on Facebook now. We are on Twitter. Our <laughs> Facebook page. Just type in. Um, Outside, thank ring. you. Outside the ring, you'll find us. Yeah. Uh, Twitter, follow us. You know, outside like us. the ring one. Twitter, the ring one. Twitter, we are on yeah. YouTube. Again, the channel's name is Outside the Ring One, all one word, no spaces, and that's mm-hmm. the numeral one. And you can email us, email your us, comments, email whatever. Us, email us at outside the ring three sixteen at gmail And remember, if you do something on Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, wherever you leave a comment. Retweet, repost, whatever. Yeah, spread the word. word. Spread the word. And not only that, but if you got questions that we, you want answers, like something about James Storm, whatever. Or if you want, or if you you want, you want, you want our opinion on something, uh, you know, send us an email. If you don't want us to mention your name, that's fine. You want to give us a fake name, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> send in questions. I mean, questions, any, yeah. comments. Anything like I got. said, send in criticism, even if it's bad. We're we're big boys. We and we will it. air it. We'll answer all your questions <laughs> honestly next week. Yeah. Uh, during the next uh, installment of Outside the Ring. So for Troy Austin, Wes Burden, there I'm Jason go. Murphy. Have a good night. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody.